and get it right 35th time 1600 meters some magic settles in and away they go from the 1600 rot kirani in the orange silks tucks in at the back of the field along with what luck Judd Stone's one of the first to jump out the machine. Right there in the early stages, some magic over racing in the initial stages. Star Attraction, the blue cap towards the inside, settles in third. And Summer 69's moving around in the pink silks now to race up third. Relegating Star Attraction fourth. Coco Love's back in fifth, the white cap. Pure Life in sixth position. Then comes What Luck in seventh. Summer to remembers towards the inside about five lengths off them. Wren's getting some reminders in the yellow silks behind run has got about six lengths to make up. Then comes Rotki Ronnie. Approaching the 800 meter marker. Some magic who is keen early now looks to go off and lead them. Judd Stone's there second. Summer 69's perfectly poised on the outside in third. Then comes Pure Life a length away. Star Attraction waits her turn to the inside. The big sheepskin noseband, blue cap. Wren's further back in the running. The white cap of Coco Love between them. They concertina only about five lengths in it. Top of the lane, 400 ago. Some magic and Judd Stone. Summer 69 towards the outside. Star attraction tries to come through Judstone the one to peg back with 300 meters to go and it's Judstone by two and a half lengths out here here comes Wren down the inside doing late progress Judstone the one to get a hold of Wren's now the danger on the inside towards the outside Coca Love Wren's coming with a determined bit up the inside and like we said the Spectrums pick it up on the poly track well done to the Steve Benton stable Wren goes on from Judstone maybe Coca Love third in a photo it's tight for the minor positions Wren was getting worked at around the turn but the spectrums different life on the poly track well week in and week out when I travel to Port Elizabeth on the poly track the spectrums they really love the surfers and this is the changing point in Wren's career well done to the Steve Benton stable, Mr. Johnson, her 35th run to date, and a five-year-old mare, the daughter of Spectrum, looked to be going nowhere at the top of the lane, but at the 200, she started to move up. She took on Judstone, and she wins a bit easier than the margin suggests. Coco Love's done enough for the place accumulators, star attraction. Summer 69, what luck next best, and pure life. Then Rot Kirani and some magic. 300 meters to go, Judstone moved up dangerously with 300 to go, the horse to peg back, but one off the inside, Wren, 35th run, a maiden no longer now, Ian Sturgeon gets her to lift, and the last 150, she starts to peg back Judstone, she hits top gear, lugs out for a stride or two, but then goes on for the victory, so an overdue win, there you'll see the, the punch in the air from Ian Sturgeon, well done to the Steve Benton stable, here's Wren now, three parts of a length in front with just on 50 meters to go and ends up drawing away from Judstone back to the studio Patience, perseverance, and belief in your horse will one day find the number one box. And this is what happened to Mr. Johnson here. And, of course, trainer Steve Benton. Uh, they've uh, continued with this five-year-old who's uh, having a 35th run today. And she's finally rewarded them on uh, the new surface here in KZN, the poly track. And uh, number two, Wren has come through to justify favoritism. She went off as a saptoed favorite, and well, Wren has come through to win race number three, and uh, well done to the Steve Benton stable here. Mr. Johnson is on course, and of course, jockey Ian Sturgeon. And uh, before we chat to jockey Ian Sturgeon, who we wait for, let's have a, a word with Steve and uh, the love for the horse. This is what I'm going to say, Steve, because uh, you're a guy that's passionate about uh, uh, the horse, and uh, you, you do this for the love of the game, and it's one for the minnows, and uh, well done to yourself and Mr. Johnson. Thanks very much. Old time, uh, been around a long time, and as, as I said in the classics before, if you keep them long enough, they're eventually going to win the race. So anyway, we have, and it's been a long time, but she's done it well. Last six months have been very good. She's been very consistent, always been in the money. 
Um, we just tried her on the poly tonight, kn knowing she would run really well here. And it's paid off. So I'm glad for Tony. He's been very patient. He's been a very lucky owner for me too. Every, t every year he's had a horse with me. Every year he's had a winner. So Tony's been a great man to train for. It's about support, and uh, that's what's lacking in your stable. You only have a handful of horses, but uh, the ones that you have, they seem to be consistent. At the moment, they are, yes, and let's hope it stays that way. Perseverance has paid off. Well done to yourself and your entire team uh, down at Burton Way, and uh, hopefully this new surface has done the trick and we can see you again in the number one box. I love it. You keep going, keep going. I love it. Great stuff. Well done to Gold Circle and the team, really. So far, so good. Well done, Steve. Thanks very much. Lovely. Let's get the jock in. And uh, that's Ian Sturgeon. Now, Fish, uh, we had a meeting uh, not too long ago, 48 hours uh, on the poly. Uh, how's the mood in the jockey room amongst the guys? Yeah, the track is lovely, Dees. You know, the, obviously the mood with the guys is good because, you know, the track is, is beautiful. There's no faltering. And there's only one gripe at the moment is the lights from about the 1,000 go quite dark, you know. So, uh, you know, it affected this fully because when I hit the front, you know, we're looking into darkness and... Uh, it was tough, you know, she picked up her head and she looked to stop. But um, thank God I had a bit in the tank and she went through and won. You're going into the stipendary board requesting for lights on helmets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need, we're not miners. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> but uh, no, but I mean, obviously the track is lovely, you know, just sure. we're working out little niggles like that on the lights. Hopefully they can sort them out before we go out for the next. Oh, fantastic, because th that's the feedback that the operator is looking for, you know, where they can improve uh, the surface and the conditions. No, sure. I mean, the track... Um, you know, it's been a bit soft in the, you know, the last meeting, it was a little bit soft. Um, th today, uh, the track seems to be a little bit lighter and, um, you know, it's not kicking up as much and I believe the kickback isn't good for them. So, you know, it's only allowed to come up to chest height, I believe, because otherwise, you know, they start coughing up the, the mixture, you know, a week later. So, you know, they seem to have worked it out well. Hopefully they can, you know, keep on, keep on top of it. Now, really nice to ride a winner for Steve Benton, and especially on this five-year-old mare who's taken some time, but she's broke it today. Sure. You know, gave me a bit of pleasure. It's the 35th time of asking, and, you know, I've ridden her quite a few times, and I've gotten to know her, and she's a really lovable little thing, you know. She puts it in, you know, the last furlong there, you know, she, she had to dig down and just go through with it, and she did it. Fantastic. Now, what about the, the rest of your rides? These, I've got a, you know, nice bunch. Obviously, you know... I think I've got, you know, each way chances all the way through. Hopefully, I'm looking for Royal Zulu Warrior to, hopefully, you know, uh, he can come back from that uh, cup trial and, uh, you know, back to six furlongs now and, you know, see if, uh, if he can sprint with him. You know, he, early on, he was quite a good sprinter and, um, you know, I've worked him. He's a very quick horse. Um, it's whether he'll be ready for that, you know, that gate speed, you know, because obviously in the merchant, they don't, they don't uh, you know, walk around there. So we'll have to see. Well, well done, and uh, thanks for that feedback about the lights, uh, Fish. Well played. Good stuff. Thanks, Dees. Lovely. Let's get Mr. Tony Johnson in. I must congratulate you, sir. You've waited, and you've waited, and you've been patient, and uh, it gives me, uh, it, it really gives me pleasure having this interview with you today, and well done to you, Tony. Thanks. My thanks to Steve for keeping her fit so long, over 35 races. And you love her. Love it. And, and, and she's just been dear to you of late. She's been earning you stake checks, and it, it looked like it was going to be around the corner, and today was the day. Well, out of her last 12 runs, she's been in the money 11 times. So we had a lot of fun with her. And uh, how many other horses have you got with Steve, uh, Tony? I've got another one, Jamestown Creek, which loves this poly. should have been running in the next race, but um, uh, that's all. Well, you know Time to celebrate for you. There's lots of champagne here on course. I hope that's your favorite drink, but uh, well done to yourself and Steve. And in particular, I, I must say hearty congratulations to you, Tony. Yeah. Uh, a great moment for you with this, with this five-year-old. and uh, Well played. And uh, thanks for Ian for a great ride. Well done. Thanks. Lovely. That is Tony Johnson, a gentleman that uh, never said die with uh, this five-year-old number two, Ren. And uh, she's rewarded him and rewarded him with a win here. Two, four, three, and nine. Your provisional results. Race number three. Coming up next will be the start of the pick six. I know they've uh, pushed that time up uh, by five minutes. So uh, that will take off at 18.05, five past six. Uh, the start of the pick six coming up next. We got that, court, that carryover of 200,000 Rand. So definitely the bet to get involved in. Race number four coming up next. Pick six time.